are at the Fright Night Film Festival and Fandom Fest in Louisville, Kentucky. And I have Jeff Burr of, uh, well, tell me a little bit about your background, Jeff. Well, I'm a, I'm a director, writer of, of films. I've done about 20 films, and probably the most famous, famous in quotes, uh, movie I've done is uh, Leatherface, Takes a Chance of Massacre 3, the one with Viggo Mortensen and uh, Kate Hodge. Excellent. So, uh, what, you, what do you have going currently, sir? Uh, well, I just did a, a film for the uh, world-renowned sci-fi channel uh, called Alien Tornado, uh, starring Jeff Fahey and Kari Wurr, and it's uh, about aliens uh, who try to take over the Earth by uh, uh, weather. So uh, we shot it in Louisiana, and it's set in Chicago, so you can get a, a mental picture of what that's like. What part of Louisiana? Uh, in Lafayette, Louis Lafayette, we say Lafayette in, in Georgia, but, uh, <laughs> Lafayette, Louisiana, uh, which is about an hour and a half away from Baton Rouge. Yeah, beautiful town, city. Yeah, it is, actually it is. It's a college town, there's like six or seven colleges around there. It's Ex a nice place to shoot, actually. Excellent. So, Jeff, what do you have next on your agenda? And, and right now, I'm, I'm uh, trying to do an independent movie that uh, I've been working on for a long time and finishing writing the script. It's a comedy, and I've really never done a true out-and-out -out comedy yet, and that's really uh, what I really want to do right now. And um, so it's just it's just putting all the pieces together, which is always the toughest part. Uh, by the time you get to actually direct the movie, it's, uh, it's a breeze, because the hard work is, is getting the movie together. Uh, so, um, so hopefully, hopefully that'll happen, and uh, and I'd love to do another horror movie eventually, and, and to do one that really is more like my first movie in the in the sense that it's a hard hitting independent movie. Very cool. Um, what's the name of the movie? I, I, it's kind of it's untitled right now. Um, untitled comedy. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, I've got a couple of titles in mind, but I, you know, I, I'm not sure which one. I'm gonna use. That works. Cody, uh, from uh, talking to you and Jeff, you two seem like really, really good friends. Yes. And could you be truthful and brutally honest with me now and uh, tell me what is your absolute favorite movie and which one is your absolute not so favorite film that uh, Jeff's done? Well, my favorite is this one right here, Leatherface, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I saw it, I saw it right, it was like, I saw it after I saw the second one, and I like the second one now. But first, it was a I was kind of put off by the humor and stuff, and and kind of how I was too, actually. Yeah. yeah, I've grown to love it since, but still. Me too. Me too. Me too. But I liked I preferred his because it was more. It was like the original. It was really nasty and very. It was going more for that vibe that the original had, which I grew grew towards more. Get was geared towards more. And my least favorite is is Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings, which which was it was this. I'm supposed to hang my head in shame now. <laughs> it was it was a it was this direct video sequel he did for Stan Winston's Pumpkinhead, and I like the first Pumpkinhead. Like I I like monster movies, but something about that film just seemed off. Like <laughs> well, you said, be honest. <laughs> Uh, 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 yeah, I, the the suit. Yeah. I think the suit kind of got overexposed. It looked. A, yes, I agree. It and, showed too much of the monster. Yeah, whereas but the you also knew what the monster was anyway. So. Well, well, the first pumpkin it was mostly in the shadows. Yeah, so. that's true. And uh, the I didn't really like the lead guy, the 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 the, the lead teenager, because I hate asshole characters like that. And but I did like Andrew Robinson. I always like Andrew Robinson. He was in Dirty Harry and Hellraiser. Yeah, and he, among uh, yeah, among yeah, many among other, yeah, films. many other. Great so he guy. was a redeeming factor about it. He he played this he played this sheriff in the yeah, town. Small and town sheriff. He was exactly. it was like the one really decent person in the town who's who's the the government the the government of the town doesn't care about people getting killed, but he's the one who is really trying to keep everybody safe. Yeah, it's kind of the Roy Scheider character in Jaws. Of, you know. The, the template. Yeah. yeah. So basically, as much as it's your your least favorite, it wasn't that bad. The, 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 there are very few movies I can say that I out and out hate that I didn't like anything about them. Like it, it, the most awful movies have some redeeming factors. I agree. There's them. something you could yeah either uh, an actor that you like or a. Uh, but it just wasn't enough to save the entire film. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Well, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. enough. Fair enough. So, Jeff, I like to conclude my interviews by just offering you a chance to tell me something weird and wonderful that maybe your uh, uh, fans wouldn't have the foggiest idea about. Okay, here's a weird and wonderful fact about Jeff Burke. Uh, I basically got into filmmaking because of Jerry Lewis. Uh, I, I've, been, and I've been a Jerry Lewis fan and probably fanatic uh, for, for, <laughs> for all my life. And I think I was like five and I saw a revival of um, uh, Who's Minding the store and my brother and I used to just laugh about about that movie and, and so so every year I watch the Jerry Lewis telethon awesome. all, all, all of that and I think Jerry Lewis kind of embodies the kind of the best of America and the worst of America <laughs> and uh, he's, he's just an incredibly fascinating man a human being but also just just uh, he's, he's a guy that made me made me truly uh, laugh and, and, and loved his work but as importantly he wrote a book called the total filmmaker which I I found in the junior college library in Dalton Georgia when I was about 11 years old wow. and it was magical reading that book you know I was already obsessed with movies and 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 thought about really thought about making them and I was starting just starting to make little super eight movies and reading that book it was just a revelation because I saw what a, a pages of a real script a Hollywood script looked like like, and, and there were behind the scenes photos, you see the big Mitchell cameras. So that was a very seminal um, seminal uh, thing to, to, for me to make movies, is, is to find that book. It was kind of like a, you know, it wasn't a holy grail because I wasn't seeking it out, but it, it kind of sought me out, and, and, and I found it, and, uh, and after I read it, after I read the book and closed that cover, I knew I would be a filmmaker. Wow, that's awesome. I never would have expected Jerry Lewis would be yeah, the inspiration that, that, that brought about Leatherface. Weird and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> totally awesome. Well, Jeff and Cody, thank you so much for this interview. And from the uh, Fright Night Film Festival and Fan Fest Fandom in Fest. Louisville. What? Fandom Fest. Fandom Fest. Fandom Fest. It's close enough. All those Fs. I, I can't. I, I, Multiple I almost made people it. Here. So. <laughs> Uh, but, but thank you for having us on, on the interview. It's, it's, it's always a pleasure to see this guy, and it's, uh, and it's a pleasure to be asked those questions. Thanks. Thank you very much.